Hello everyone. So I just downloaded the PC Health Check app uh, to see if your computer is eligible to update to uh, Windows 11. I have an Alienware laptop bought recently, so I'm going to go through the process. All right, looks so good. Let's see the results. All right, so you do need um, this particular chip on board, um, mostly for um, the the encryption, like a lot of the um, Azure and um, out of the box settings for BitLocker need a TPM chip to encrypt your hard drive. And if you don't have this, people could just pop your hard drive, like if it's a corporate machine or um, um, just your personal machine, and they could just put the hard drive in a hard drive toaster, USB toaster, and they could get access to all your data. So it's good to see them supporting um, the uh, TPM 2.0. Um, basically, I got a core i9, so it's good. Um, need at least four gigs of RAM, so I got 32, and 64 gigs. I have this, and process cores. You need two more, and then you need one gig. Okay, fair enough. So we're good. So we, um, sure, that's good. Back up. Um, we did update battery and storage and whatnot. So. So now I'm going to see if I can pause the video and update to Windows 11. So I just Googled how to update to Windows 11. So I'm going to pick top one result and let's see what we got here. Okay. Windows update, check for updates. If the free Windows update is available, you'll see an option to download and install. Okay. So let's go over and do Windows update. Minimize this start menu type windows update and let's see what we got let's try optional updates nothing specific. So I'm going to pause the video and do a little bit more searching. So I was able to um, Google again and found the download Windows 11. And basically I'm going to look here. And this is an assistant who wished to upgrade the Windows 10 PC to 11. Okay, so before you begin, check the if the following conditions apply to you. That is true. Yes, I do have it. Um, okay, sure. No problem. We did do the, um, installation assistant, your PC. That's fine. That's fine. After you download the installation assistant, select run, accept, restart, make sure you do not turn off your PC. All right. So let's download that. Go through here. So let's minimize this guy here. All right, sign your life away to Mr. Gates. And it's fine to keep using your PC. So I assume step one of three, after I reboot, I will continue the video. And I hope you guys uh, realize, I guess if this is that easy, like knock on wood, it's super easy to update. So um, just like a new version of iOS, Windows should be no different, you know, just update that new, you know, any new update is a whole new large update from 10 to 11 or from iOS 12 to 13 seems reasonable. So I will pause the video and we'll pick it up at certain points. Right, just to show you guys what uh, step two is. So it's verifying. Step three, it's okay to use your PC, but we'll restart your PC um, 30 minutes after we reach 100% on the screen. So be sure to save your work. Shoot, I gotta quickly save a bunch of Word documents, so I will pause the video. All right, so I saved all of my work, and what I'm gonna do is let this run um, indefinitely till it reboots. And because I won't be able to use my screen recording tool during that time, um, I will see you on the other side. 
and I heard Windows 11 is glorious. So the other side looks fantastic. The grass is greener. All right, back from the upgrade, we are fully updated. The only thing that's really changed is the start menu in the middle. Um, you will notice, like if you open up, oh my God, doesn't that look like some big blue lips on the file explorer? Um, you'll notice a lot of the different icons as you move through the system are like almost like Apple-esque or I don't know, like Blackberry-esque where they're kind of saturated and cartoony. Um, I like it. Um, I do like a lot of the features that they put in here. It looks nice and easy to use. Um, and front, line, and center, when I booted back into it, it had Xbox that came up, which was kind of cool to think that Xbox is front and center. Um, you have widgets, which pop in from the left that you can add, kind of like from Windows Vista, little date from the back in the day from the grave. You have your start menu in the middle um, and just kind of a cleaner look. Um, one thing to notice is you have the taskbar um, menu items that are, sorry, in the, sorry, in the settings. So let me just center this a little bit for you guys. A little, that's good. Um, and as you move through it, like it's pretty modern and updated. Like I'll probably have to do a whole video on how incredible this new UI is just for the settings. Yeah, so overall impressed, easy to update. If you wanna update to uh, Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, and if you wanna update to Windows 11 for free, follow these instructions. I'm sure there's tons of videos online that will give you similar ones. But if you happen to watch this video and you found it helpful, click the like button. If you didn't like it and you thought this content was not so good, hit the like button twice. And if you thought it was just stellar, um, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And that'll tell me that I should make similar content like this. If you want any other similar videos in the future made, please leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.